New York Green Bank uh, is a signature policy of Governor Cuomo. Uh, and the, it's a billion dollar green bank. It's not really a bank per se. You should think about it as a specialized finance company. And it operates not to give subsidy, but operates in the market where the problem is not the cost of financing, but the availability of financing. And because of bank capital rules and other regulatory issues, it's very expensive for traditional financial institutions to offer loans to anything, including uh, clean energy projects that are small, have long maturities, or um, below investment grade credit. So that means that there are lots of projects, solar projects, energy efficiency projects, uh, even some wind projects that are uh, financially viable, meaning that they offer uh, good returns to, to the equity, uh, but can't get financing, can't get debt financing. And that's the Green Bank's space in the market. The Green Bank was announced uh, about five and a half years ago, and it's been in operation for uh, coming up on four years. And the Green Bank has now extended uh, uh, over $500 million in credit. And we believe that that's been leveraged more than three times for projects uh, that uh, are in New York. The source of funding comes from uh, New York utility customers, so the, so the projects have to be funded in New York, and so this means that uh, over a billion and a half dollars of projects in New York that would not have otherwise happened without the Green Bank. You're uh, acting to unlock a market, uh, and so once the Green Bank uh, can demonstrate that a uh, uh, that a uh, market exists, the private sector can ultimately step in because really the objective of the Green Bank in New York is to operate where the market, where the private sector financing market is just not. What, I, what, I, what we say, one standard deviation away from where uh, private sector financing markets exist. And so if the Green Bank can prove out that this is an attractive market opportunity, it means that there's really uh, virtually a, a unlimited leverage because it means that the Green Bank can step out of the way and the private market can step in completely. The challenge is that, is that there are not enough uh, projects that are of scale to attract institutional capital. Uh, and so many of the projects that around the world that are needed to be, that need funding, are very small projects. Uh, and, but even in the United States, um, if uh, an institutional investor, you went to an institutional investor and said, how about, how about uh, uh, investing a few hundred million dollars into a portfolio of energy efficiency projects? The investor would say, well, at the right return, that sounds fantastic. The challenge is, uh, is that there, it's very difficult to find hundreds of millions of dollars of energy efficiency projects that are, uh, uh, that are uh, structured in a way where one would look the same as another. And so as a consequence, the financing piece needs to be put into context of policies that, that, uh, that are going to lead to uh, market development uh, because the if we can have market development or policies that encourage more projects, uh, then that, that means that uh, together with entities like a green bank that can help aggregate smaller projects and provide financing, uh, then we can, we, we can solve both parts of the problem.